guys um i'm just making a really quick video so you can kind of see how the class is set up of course there we go this is what you're going to see as you come in i've made a calendar in a couple different areas here in b2l so it goes through all your due dates as you come in now what you want to do when you want to get to the actual assignments what you're going to be doing you want to hit content Content is going to take you to the area that all your course information is going to be located. As you can see here, if you look, you can go on here, and this is going to give you the overview, the class that you're in. It's going to tell you um, the book required, and it's going to be a place where you can find your um, syllabus. Now, if you go in, you'll notice here today, May 15th, introduction to the course. So you're going to go in here in this area where it says introduction to the course and you're going to go and peruse through some of this. Of course this is the welcome video that I sent you a couple days ago if you registered early so you could get an idea of who I was and what I look like. The mastery name P, if you click on here, it's going to give you basically on here, it's going to give you a video on how to register. Let me go back. And it's going to give you a flyer. Uh, it's taken a few minutes to load. But um, it'll give you a flyer here on exactly how, how to register. Now if you go back, let me go here again. If you'll notice the next course, if you hit on intro again, it'll get here and it'll say Mastering Website. So at any point, if you don't want to save it, you can go here and you can click the Mastering Website. Now when you go to sign up for a mastering account, it's going to ask for a course ID and your course ID is right here. So it's the Matt Frazier 29383. So if you hit through here and you click on there, it's going to take you to the website itself, right, which is what you see here. And then you are just going to go here. If you don't, if you've never used any kind of Pearson product before, you're going to register and get a new account. But if you've used any, if you've taken another science class or maybe a math class, you might have done mastering something, even history. If you already have an account, you're just going to sign in and then you're going to find the book. So this is what your mastering site will look like. It's the main mini 2017 and it's biology 2404. And as you can see, the very first site here has your calendar so you can see when all the due dates. So you have four major due dates when it comes to assignments. And you can see basically every Sunday you have a series of homeworks, um, dynamic study modules, and lab activities due. And um, essentially, and you'll also see that you have lab practicals due here. And then, of course, towards the end of the last week, you'll have another set of basically homeworks, brief study modules, and lab activities here. So, um, what you'll want to go into, you'll go into assignments, and the very first assignment that you'll want to complete is this introduction to Mastering AMP. You do not get any credit for doing it. It's a very easy assignment, and the whole purpose of the assignment is to show you how to do mastering homework. So I'm not going to go through that because that's the assignment they're set up and that is due by the 17th and I'm asking you to do it by the 17th the first few days of class because you should be starting on this homework right away and of course if you can see the first sets of homework are already there for you to do the first sets of dynamic study module and the first lab activities so essentially what you can do to find out what's due we're gonna go back to this main site here and um, what you're going to do is, let's say for instance, Unit 1, when you go, if you go under every unit, it's going to tell you what chapters you need to read or what it covers. Here it's Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, pages 1 through 61. It's going to let you know there are videos below. So I've scoured the internet and I found a set of really good videos to go over the information I think are really important within the chapters. Here are the PowerPoints that are associated with the following information. And then you should go into the mastering site, which is here, and this is what you're going to complete for the following unit. 
Homework 1 and 2, Dynamic Study Modules for Chapters 1 and 2, and Lab Activities 1 and 2. All this activity for the units are due for Sunday, May 21st at um, 2017 at 11.59. And you can see that due date is here, that due date is here on the information, and that due date is um, over here in Mastering. And, of course, you can find it on your syllabus. So due dates are all over the place here, so you can know. So you will want to come on D2L so you can figure out what's happening and then you go to your mastering assignment to actually do the lecture. So you can see that's covering here for the information for your lecture and your lab. Now of course if you look on here these are the, your lecture helpful, helpful videos and then you also have this information. There are videos to help you with some of the information for the lab, but if you go and you click here, if you're already signed in, so make sure you're signed into Mastering, and it's going to take you to what's known as PAL 3.0. PAL 3.0 is what you need to use to be able to get through the lab assignments. Now if you go over here, you'll notice the lab assignments are here, lab activities, and you're going to click on them. And they're going to give you a series of either human cadavers, models, histology, or fetal pig. So at any point where you want to come into here to look through here, and that will help you to basically get through your lab activities. And what I'm going to do is these lab activities, the questions you ask from here, so if you just study the lab activities, you'll see a combination of the questions that are presented on your lab practical. The lab practicals are timed an hour long and you can go in here. So that's the information there. Now once you get through, let me go back here, once you get through whatever series of units, and remember units talk about information not chapters, so just as a reminder Unit 1, if you look here, covers chapters 1 and 2. Unit 2, if you look here, it's got the same information for you. Covers chapter 3, and it gives you a bunch of very helpful videos here. And then Unit 4, or Unit 3 here, covers chapter 4. And then again, you're going to go here to your exam. You can take the exams on the Lone Star, any Lone Star testing site, or you can take them at home. Just make sure that you have a stable internet connection. If there are any errors that happen on your side, as in your internet goes out, your computer goes out, any of those, there's nothing I can do to restart your exam. So the only surefire way to make sure that you are covered is to take it at a Lone Star um, testing center. But, um, I've never really had any problems. It'll tell you basically what unit it covers, how much time you have, and basically um, it'll give you an idea of how many questions there are. If you have any problems with this, please contact online at lonestart.edu or call this number for OTS assistance. So I think that pretty much gives a good idea of how to maneuver through this course. It's not a very tough course. I think you'll really enjoy um, the content and if you have any questions again please just um, give me a um, text me or email me through D2L. Anyway thanks guys I'm done I'm gonna try to figure out which one of these is the one that I stop and have a great um, week and I'll be checking in with you guys next week.